Hello viewers! Today I will describe how we convert our direct current to alternate current with the power inverter. So this will be interesting. I will stra start right over because it, it, uh, it can take some time. So what we have here. So this is our three phase alternate current source. So our generator consists of the three times three coils. Each, 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 each coil represents one phase like over here I described in my previous video and um, what uh, I will not go uh, again uh, through this how this goes you can watch the previous video about how do we get alternate current and uh, now we have to transfer or yeah, convert this alternate current to direct current and for that we of course need our full wave uh, three phase diode bridge yeah like on image over here so so this is like our three phase ac to dc conversion circuit so let's start from the beginning so this is a star connection you can see this this looks like a star and if i go back to my generator what what is connected now where so this part over here so this one side of the coils so first side of the coils is interconnected one two and three are interconnected and they represent the center center interconnection and the other side of the coil it's this one two three and now i will show you here so coil one represents over here coil two will be connected over here and coil three over here and now these coils have to be connected to our diode bridge so what happens here so how do we now get from this uh, th this current which changes polarity in time the current which does not change polarity in time our DC current how do we create it so it's very simple you will see so when the current start flowing so alternate current start flowing to this um, coil one and it will get to the this diode bridge so this diode will not let go current in this way but only this diode which you can see which is the part of the diode yeah, how it's turned it will pass the current only through this way over here the same stands for the coil 2 so when the star when the current will flow through coil 2 it will come to this diode bridge and this diode will not let it to go in the opposite polarity but just the positive polarity and the coil 3 also current will come over here this diode will not let it change polarity in minus but only to stay in the plus polarity so this is how we get uh, this part over here this represents our direct current which was created from 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 this current uh, with this diode bridge so this is the complete mystery how do we get direct current with six diodes so each phase going to the diode bridge this diode does not let current to change polarity in minus but only to stay in plus and this is for the phase 2 and phase 3 now we have our DC current now we have this uh, to transfer or to convert this DC current again to AC current which we can use in our home devices so this is transformer transformer from my previous video I use it here and this is the circuitry which we need to have to be able to to convert DC current against to the AC current and what do we have here so when our current starts flowing into this direction and comes to this integrated circuit for what we need this IC so it's very simple we need this IC to simulate uh, changing of polarity yeah so uh, this uh, circuit has some logic inside and it can give pulses to, to this to this circuit over here or to this circuit over here and how to describe that so when when the current start to flowing this circuit over here will be responsible for the positive part of the sine wave over here and when this side of the circuit so this this resistor and the transistors start uh, working in right order according to this 
uh, IC, it will create this part of the scene wave. So we again simulated, we simulated negative polarity. So with this circuit, we transferred it, and it changes in time. So this will happen a little bit sooner. Positive polarity of the sine wave, and this will happen something somewhere something later. Negative polarity of sine wave. And what then? Then we have again our AC current which will be transferred into primary coil. So primary coil coil will have the AC current flowing inside. So this AC current will create magnetic flux in this blue part which is iron core. And this magnetic flux will induce in the secondary coil uh, also AC current. But uh, depending on the number of secondary coils, that much voltage we, we, we will get outside on our output. And this is it. This is the whole story. And what type of actually power inverters we have on our market? We have two types which are commonly used. We have pure sine wave power inverter and we have the modi modified sine wave power inverter. Pure sine wave is, is of course better and it's more expensive but it creates perfect shape of the sine wave so you can see and we can connect all electronic devices from the house including computer the power heaters and everything yeah on this on this wave but if we buy the modified sine wave power inverter we will we will not be able to connect the inductive uh, loads like the let's say our heater in the kitchen so this will not be or our fun for the drying of our hair or something like that yeah? which has which has yeah induction which creates induction so this will this will not be able to work in in our modified sine wave wave power inverter but this is the main difference so you see the shape is why it's called modified because it's not perfect it's like with some steps and um, but it actually simulates almost perfectly the 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 sign shape this is it i now describe the complete flow of the energy from our source our three phase generator to our output of the transformer on our power inverter over here thanks for watching until next video